What's up you guys, it's Jeremy Ray and welcome to probably the best video I've ever posted on my YouTube channel. Not only are we gonna be going through the whole entire step-by-step -step process of building a Shopify dropshipping store from complete scratch, but I'm also gonna be showing you guys a premium theme that I love to use and a couple other little goodies inside of this video. So as I create the store name, I'm gonna call this the Mixie because we're doing the little blender bottle product. What best describes you, I'm just starting, right? And I can just skip through all these questions, they don't really matter, so skip, skip, skip. Next, it'll be in the United States. So basically then I just enter an email, create a little quick password. The first thing we're gonna talk about is Shopify themes. Shopify themes are basically all these different things that you could basically use to make your website look good. One thing that I have not mentioned is probably one of my favorite ways to actually build a Shopify store and that's by using the Debutify theme. The reason in this video I wanna talk about Debutify is because Debutify does a lot more than just give you a good looking store. It also takes the place of a bunch of apps that you would regularly have to pay for separately on Shopify. Basically, Debutify is trusted by leading brands like Flippa, Look, CJ Dropshipping, Bridge, Pagefly, Clavio. If we go down here and go to add-ons, as you guys can see, essentially what Debutify allows you to do is have all these apps in just one. So age check, add to cart automation, agree to terms automation, cart discount, back in stock, automatic geolocation, right? Allows users to literally hop on your store from anywhere in the world and your store will automatically update to their pricing and their language right which is really really crazy you don't have to purchase all these different apps or have all these different subscriptions say you have a store that's doing you know 10k per month with like just an okay store right if you take that okay store and make it a really really good store and you double your conversion rate meaning you know out of every hundred people that visit your store if 10 are buying right now right after you change your store it means you know that 20 out of that hundred people are gonna be buying so you essentially doubled your conversion rate right if you do that that literally doubles the amount of money you're making without ever having to put any extra energy into anything other than when you're setting up your store. All I'm gonna do is go to download theme and I'm gonna click download. So as soon as I click download, it's gonna pull up this zip file and all I'm gonna do is go down here and go to add theme. I'm gonna upload a zip file and then basically what I'm gonna do is drag and drop that guy right there and click upload file. So as soon as I click upload file, this file is gonna basically be added to my online store so I could start messing around with it. All right, you guys, so now that the day beautify theme is on my store, I'm gonna just click actions and then I'm gonna click publish and this is gonna allow us to actually start editing it so now after I've clicked publish I'm just gonna go into customize now you guys as soon as I pull up the store as you can see we've got a basically store that looks almost ready to go which is pretty crazy this is why I love Debutify because look literally as soon as I added Debutify I already have a store that almost looks like completely set up right so this is really really cool but basically over here for those of you who are new to Shopify over here on the left is where we're gonna be customizing everything these are all the different sections you can just click any of these and basically edit them over here. All right, you guys, so now that we have Debutify installed, the next thing we're gonna do is download this app called Deezers. This is the new version of Oberlo. This is what allows you to actually drop ship and actually put the product on your store from AliExpress. Slide to verify and then create account. Type in blender bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my import list. I just wanna edit this. I could basically go inside of here and just edit everything that I want. So I'm gonna go through here and delete all the variants that don't say China. This is something you guys should do as well. What I'm gonna sell it for is probably $59.99. So I'm making about basically 50% margin. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click save. And then basically once I do that, all I'm gonna do is click this button and it's gonna push it to Shopify. You guys, make sure you click all also publish to online store. Otherwise, you're gonna be sitting there like, where are my products? I can't see them on my store. They show up in Shopify, but they don't show as active. Continue selling without a stock because I'm gonna use a private supplier. And then I'm basically gonna click push to Shopify. If I go back over to my Shopify, now I can see that I have one product right here, this Mixi Blender bottle. So all I'm gonna do for this is literally just go right here and delete the current description. And then we're gonna edit this ourselves and make it look super nice. I'm also going to go in here and delete this ships from variant just because it doesn't look good to say ships from China. And what I'm gonna do is start dropping some pictures that I have saved for this product of just the pink and the white version. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just edit the image on this guy right here. And I'm gonna essentially add one of the pink ones. So when people click on the pink variant, that picture pops up. For descriptions, one thing that I recommend doing is just by going and finding competitors who are doing this well. So essentially, if we go to the blendyshop.com, and then I'm basically just going to take this description right here and move it over 
to mine. So just right here, introducing the Mixi. So we'll change that from Blendy to Mixi, obviously. The Ultimate Blender Bottle, we'll change it up a little bit. All right, so basically now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add a Giphy right here. Click this guy and I'm gonna insert image. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna go too crazy into the description, but you guys take some time with your description. Make it something that actually makes sense to the customers and make it something that makes the customer really intrigued about your product. That's the key point to a description. So as we go over into the Mixi, now if we preview this page, we can basically see our blender bottle is set up and literally ready to sell right now, which is pretty crazy. Our description looks good. We've got a FAQ, we've got this our guarantees, right? All this stuff right here. Essentially what I'm gonna do now that we have the product Product here is I'm gonna get started actually building and you know kind of customizing the cosmetics on the store what I could basically start by doing is adding different sections that I want so if I want to mess with the header what I'm gonna do right here is go ahead and find the logo that I want to be on here and I'm basically going to upload my logo so my logo is right here got this little mixy logo select 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 and look right there I basically have my logo set up and looking good right at the top as you can see another thing I I like to do is you guys do not edit your website in desktop view edit it in phone view because everybody's going to be coming on your website from their phones since they're going to be coming off of social media so only focus on phone view when you're editing your website that's a little pro tip that's definitely going to help you out in making sure that you build a website that's optimized for the type of sale you're going to be making usually which is off of social media all right you guys so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is actually start customizing some of the colors on here so i'm going to go down to colors and i'm going to start customizing it to the way that i want i'm going to make this whole entire bar black with white text that looks super clean header background we should maybe make this header background a little light blue i feel like that would look super sick blue is a great color to be doing with your website just because blue is a color that triggers emotional buying um blue red yellow those type of colors are colors that trigger you know buying responses or trigger people to take action more than any other color so if you didn't know that you do now uh for the page background i like to actually go like this and instead of making it white just to make it a little lighter on the eyes what I like to do is make it the blue color that I use for the header but just a super super light shade of it so right there to where it's almost white we definitely want the buttons to be black the buttons being black just looks good in my opinion and we want the button label or the text to be white so as we go down here a little bit more links and accents we definitely want that to probably be the same blue color as the header so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and make this a little darker than the header a little darker blue color that'll look nice and essentially the theme for this website if if you haven't uh, gotten that yet, it's basically just, you know, kind of lighter blue type of theme. I think that looks really good with a product or a store like this. And uh, yeah, I think that makes it look really nice. So for sales price, I'm gonna just make that black. And then as we go down here, the drawers, we're gonna do the same sort of thing. So we're gonna do the background of the same color as the header. And then I'm going to essentially make all these the same too. So boom, borders, let's do borders black. Let's do buttons black. Boom, links and accents, let's do it. This color, errors, let's do it black sales price let's do it black the footer is actually going to be black just because i think that would look kind of clean so and then we're going to do the text on the footer the accent background let's do white and then let's do text white and borders let's make the borders blue i think that would look kind of cool what i'm going to do is just add a couple more sections that i kind of want to be on this home page so one of those things is going to just be a gallery real quick i want to add a little gallery with some photos of our products so people can see it another thing that i do put a newsletter so this will actually allow you to collect emails emails from your customers. Basically what I could say is, you know, join the family. So basically with these guarantees, what you can do is you could just click on each one, whatever one I want to edit and basically edit it. So our guarantee, you know, just say, you know, 24 hour support don't like the mixy simply email us and we will make things right right so just another little thing right there i'm gonna remove that block i only want to have two of them basically you could have this follow us on social media as well where you could put your social media obviously for this video it's just an example so i don't have social media for this store so i'm not going to obviously add social media because i don't have it kind of want to add a faq so if i go right here and add an faq this is pretty cool because it will help people just basically go through and you know get questions answered that they need answers to right so you could go in here and just edit literally each question and 
and add a little FAQ section. This is one thing that I like about Day Beautify that helps you out a lot. If you get, you know, a lot of common questions from customers like, where's my order, da 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 da. You can just have them all right here so people aren't gonna spam your email all day and instead, they're just gonna be able to get their questions answered right on your website. So as you guys can see right here, the product page with Day Beautify, it's basically already set up. You really don't have to do anything else other than literally just add the product to your store and you're basically set up and looking good as far as the product page goes. I like to keep things super simple. Day Beautify obviously has these apps already installed on your store that make, you know, the add to cart button shake, have the share things, have the homepage catalog. With the footer menu, what I'm gonna do is say find out more. And then essentially right here, we're just gonna have our footer menu. So this is gonna be where people can access all of the different things that we want them to access, support, help, whatever it is, right? So in order to do this and actually add menu items, what we're gonna do is go to navigation. What we're gonna do is go to pages. And basically once we go to pages, we're gonna add a couple things. So we're going to add contact contact us and this is essentially going to be a contact page and all we're going to do is click save and I'm going to go back I'm going to delete this one that Shopify automatically has because we don't need that anymore and then basically what I'm going to do is start setting up all of my terms and conditions so it's really sick because Shopify actually gives you guys templates to do this making it super super easy so literally all I'm going to do is go refund policy create from template I'm going to go privacy policy create from template and you guys are free to obviously customize all this yourself and you do have to go in here and obviously kind of customize a couple things like you got to go in here and add your email in here and all that sort of stuff so anyways you guys if we go down here and we just go ahead and go to navigation here's where we could edit the footer menu so if we go in here and edit the footer menu this is what pops up at the bottom of your page we're gonna go ahead and add these policies so we're gonna go ahead and first off add the privacy policy right boom we're gonna click add and then we're gonna go down here and then we're gonna click policies and then we're gonna click refund policy and then we're going to click boom add instead of you guys having to go and spend you know hours and hours and hours setting up a product page with all these different apps and everything like that day beautify already has this and just so you guys understand this a little better basically within day beautify all these things that have this little lightning bolt next to it those are all day beautify add-ons anything that doesn't have this lightning bolt on it is essentially a shopify thing so all these add-ons are things that you usually would not have unless you were using day beautify the other thing i love about day beautify you guys is the actual add to cart screen. So as soon as I click add to cart, I have this setting set up to where as soon as you click add to cart, the reason I like Day Beautify for doing this is because otherwise it gives the customer an extra step and each step you have in your checkout process makes you less likely to make a sale. So with Day Beautify, when you go ahead and click add to cart, it takes you directly to the checkout screen. Obviously you can adjust this setting if you don't want it, if you want it to you know, just go add to the cart if you have a multi-product store. But if you're doing one product drop shipping and people aren't gonna be shopping around your website this feature is amazing and if you guys want to access day beautify they have actually allowed me to give you guys a little discount to use their software just to help you guys get started so if you want to get 20 percent off of day beautify and get a little secret special deal from me you guys go ahead and go to the link in the description that says try day beautify and you're going to go ahead and click that link and you're going to be able to start your free 14 day trial and you're going to also be able to see the little gift that they allowed me to give to you guys for watching this video and for being subscribed to the channel 